Hello. Today we're going to take a quick minute and we're going to describe how firewalls work. Once we're discuss done discussing how firewalls work, we'll set up a scenario and we'll walk through several scenarios of how this works in an enterprise environment. So first and foremost, at a very, very basic level, how a firewall works. So in my scenario here, my very basic scenario, we have a server with a firewall and we have a computer. This computer has a file on it. It doesn't matter what that file is. It can be Word documents, Excel documents, pictures, any file. And we want to transfer that file to our server. So when we go through that process, and that process is whatever our business process is, to move this file to this server, we go ahead and go through that process. What the computer does is it breaks this file up into a whole bunch of little packets and then it sends each packet one at a time through the internet over to the server because that's where we told it to go. Inside of each packet we have a header. That header has a bunch of information. Some of that information includes the destination, where I'm going. In this scenario, it's the server. The source, where I'm coming from. In this scenario, it's just computer. What port am I communicating on? and then it has other information. Once we get to the firewall or the server, we get to the server because that's where the packet has come, the firewall has a set of rules and it inspects those packets against those rules. And so it looks at the rule and if it says, I'm coming to this server, which obviously it is, I'm coming from you know, computer A, we'll call it computer A, on port, 80. So I'm coming from computer A on port 80. The firewall looks at the rules and says, am I allowed to have incoming traffic on port 80 from computer A? And computer A it really would have its IP address. And we'll say its IP address is 55.6.7.1. So it's 55.6.7.1, it's sending that over here. The rules here say allow incoming from 55.6.7.1 on port 80. And so that packet will arrive at the firewall, the firewall will look at it and say, oh, I have a rule that says allow incoming traffic from 55.6.7.1 on port 8. And that packet would then go through and be processed by the server. On the flip side, if that server's IP address is 55.6.7.2, and the file comes through, and where I'm coming from is 55.6.7.2, it's going to look at its rules, and its rule only says allow from .7.1. And so since it doesn't have a rule allowing this machine with IP address of 55.6.7.2 to communicate with it, the firewall will stop that transmission or kill that packet, and no other packets will come through. So that's what a firewall does. It inspects the packet. The packet has information about where it's going, where it's coming from, what protocol and what port it is using. And then the firewall looks at its basic set of rules. And whether it's stateless or stateful, it, both of them have rules. It just determines on how those rules are updated and how it gets those rules. But it looks at its set of rules and says, am I allowed to allow this packet through, yes or no? If yes, it allows the packet through for the server to process it. If no, it kills that packet. So at a very basic, very high level, this is how firewalls work.